Vivian Adobe backstage. We're here celebrating BET Awards weekend. The award show just ended, but we're behind the scenes with Sladmore for the real action. Can you tell us how are you feeling tonight? Wow, feeling excited. The BET Awards were great, and I think everybody's now, it's, it's that time that we get relaxed, and uh, and the real action starts, the behind the scenes, the great live music scene. That's what LA Live is all about, so I'm happy to be here and be a part of it. Of course, of course. So you, I'm sure you've been very busy this weekend. What's been the highlight for you? Oh, you know what the highlight was for me actually okay personal moment um, the pre-party with Deborah Lee is always really special for me because I get a chance to really sit down and see some of the people that I'm a fan of um, a lot of the other parties are, are it's, a, it's a fast pace but uh, when we go to the pre-party I mean it's really an intimate room and uh, I get a chance to really com you know connect with, with the people that I have they've admired so so it seems like you're I mean you're a notable musician of course but you're also a fan of other musicians. Absolutely. Was there anyone you were excited to see during the award show? Oh, absolutely. Everybody. Janet Jackson. Of course. The tribute. Oh, okay. Kendrick Lamar opening, though. I, I thought it was for everything that's happened in our our country, the way it was represented, the way his performance was. It was just a powerful moment. Um, just statements all night long. Smokey Robinson. Because, I mean, I, I would never be here if it weren't for Smokey Robinson. Right. And isn't it fitting that both of the people you just mentioned are also winners tonight? Big winners tonight. Absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. They're, they're great winners. I think and everybody like is on one accord and in and, and, uh, what's important right now in music. BT Awards, huge weekend, huge night, and you're performing. Can you tell us a little bit about what you're going to be blessing the audience with? We're here in the conga room. We're going to, you know, bless the audience with some amazing performances, you know, by myself. You know, my homie, my brother, Kenny Lattimore. You know, my other homie, Tank. And the beautiful, the lovely, talented K. Michelle. You know, and we're going to have some other surprises tonight. So, you know, that's how we do it here. And, you know, just celebrating BET and the awards and, uh, you know, just uh, some real network of good musician friends here in L.A. Right, right. And the BET Awards, this is 15 years of the award show here in L.A. What has the BET been like for you as an artist, the relationship? Well, it's been incredible. I mean, BET is like one of the few vehicles, you know, um, for us, you know, to, uh, to be able to spread what we do across the world. You know, BET is uh, internationally syndicated and, you know, and obviously that's a huge push for, you know, what we as African-American artists um, are trying to do. And uh, shoot, if it wasn't for BET, a lot of us really wouldn't be here right now. We're here at BET Awards After Party. We're here with DJ Cash. Can you please tell us what was the highlight of your weekend? Uh, my highlight of my weekend was probably I didn't get no sleep. <laughs> no, that's, nah, that's really uh, true. Probably last night. I did Chris Brown's party last night. It was Chris Brown got good energy. It was amazing. It was a good party. So, so what, as a DJ, like, what makes a great audience for you, like a great environment to be doing what you do best? Uh, it's just the energy, man. I, like, I, I feed off people energy. So, you know, I mean, the more energy they give me, the better my set is. So I just feed off energy. I like the, you know, the people doing, the people hype, I get hype. So that's kind of how I do. Yeah. <laughs> so people get hyped to a lot of things, but I'm also getting a little hyped because I heard something about the nonprofit that you have yeah. going on. Can you tell us a little bit more? Uh, I got a non-for-profit organization, which is called A Million Sons. And basically, I'm taking people with inside the industry that I know and just bringing them to the forefront. And we just trying to make some difference in, you know, unfortunate kids' lives. So uh, it's kind of like a tour. So we're going to be going, like, city to city and just getting people around the city to, you know, help us out. And we're just going to try to make a difference.